Welcome everyone, my name is Steve Procto and welcome to the LMHF Wellness Program Part 2. To receive credit for this, you must watch the video in its entirety and email Mia Vicario at mia.vicario at lmhf.net to receive credit for this. Thanks so much. This video here is a power yoga flow. Uh, all you'll need is your yoga mat. I will give different options in this practice. This can be done first thing in the morning, middle of the day, anytime you need a bit more strength, and uh, scale the practice up or down depending on what you need. Let's come on to start the child's pose. Big toes touch, knees spread wide. And move into downward facing dog. Spread your fingers wide, walk out your feet. Bring your feet together, inhale your right leg up to the ceiling, open up your right hip. Right foot meets your left, inhale your left leg up, open up your left hip. Step down, walk your feet to the front of your mat, separate your feet two to three fists, opposite arms, opposite elbows, rag out. Heel toe your feet to touch, stand all the way up, reach your right arm up, left arm, right hand, left hand reach as high as you can, exhale as you fold forward, drop your head down. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on shins, step back, high plank. Lower to the floor, untuck your toes, baby cobra or upward facing dog, downward facing dog. That's what we call the vinyasa. You can skip that if you need to and go right back to down dog or flow through each time is what I'll be doing. Look forward, step to your hands. Big toes touch, halfway lift and fold. Extended mountain pose, reach up, inhale. Exhale as you fold forward, drop your head down. Halfway lift, step back, high plank. Lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Look forward, step, walk, or hop to your hands. Halfway lift and fold. Rise and reach, go up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, step your feet back, high to low plank, or right back to down dog. Up dog, chest forward of your biceps. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward, step, walk, or hop to your hands. Halfway lift and fold. Lift your right leg up to the ceiling, one breath in. Right foot meets your left. Lift your left leg up to the ceiling, left foot meets your right. Chair pose, big toes touch, or you can take your feet hip width distance. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, step back, high plank. Lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your right foot between your hands. Warrior one. Flip up onto the ball of your left foot. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling as your left hand comes down. Option to drop your left knee down. Inhale. Step back. High to low plank. Up dog. Down dog. Left foot forward, warrior one. Push your left heel down. Flip up onto the ball of your right foot. Right hand down, left hand up. Option to drop your right knee down. Inhale, step back high to low, or right back to down dog. These are our sun salutation Bs. Look forward, step walk or hop to your hands. Halfway lift. And fold. Right leg up to the ceiling, one breath in. Right foot meets your left. Left leg up to the ceiling. Left foot meets your right. Chair pose. Stand all the way up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Step back. High plank. Lower. Up dog. Down dog. Right foot forward. Warrior one. Hands come down to your mat, high to low plank, or right back to down dog. 
Left foot forward, warrior one. Hands come down, step back. Up dog, down dog. Last time be building here. Look forward, step walker hop. Halfway lift and fold. Right leg up to the ceiling, hold here. Bring your hands to your left shin. Walk your hands up your left shin, warrior three. Option one, stay here. You can reach forward or left hand down, right hand up, half moon. That's it. <laughs> one more breath in, right foot meets your left. Lift your left leg up to the ceiling. Walk your hands up your right shin. Bring your hands to center, option one. Option two, reach. Option three, right hand down, left hand up. Here we go, chair pose. Sink into your heels. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, step back, high plank. Lower, up dog, down dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. Open up into warrior two. So heel to heel alignment, squeeze your heels towards one another. Gaze is at one point. Take your left hand to your low back, flip your right palm, reverse it back. Take your hands down, step back, high to low plank. Up dog, down dog. Left foot forward, warrior one. Open up, warrior two. Heel to heel alignment, squeeze your heels, and kick your gaze to one point. Right hand to low back, take it back. Hands come down, step back, high to low plank. Up dog, down dog. Roll forward to high plank, right hand down, heels left, right arm up, side plank here, or drop your right knee down, lift your left leg up, side plank here. You choose. One more breath in, go to the other side. Left hand down, Spin your heels to the left, right arm up here, or drop your left knee down, lift your right leg up. That's it. Downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward, come up to crescent lunge. Notice I'm on the ball of my left foot. If you wish, you can drop your left knee down. Bring your hands to center, lean forward, hook your left elbow on your right knee, twist. From here you can stay or open up, floor to ceiling. One more breath in, warrior two, heel to heel alignment, left big toe inward, reverse it back, take your right hand down on the inside of your right foot to a block or mat, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling here, or reach your left arm over your left ear. One more breath in, high to low plank, or right back to down dog. Step your left foot forward, come up crescent lunge. What we do on one side, we got to do on the other side. Reach up, drop the right knee down if you need to. Hands to center, lean forward, right elbow, left knee. One more breath in, warrior two. Reverse it back, left hand down on the inside of your left foot. Reach your right arm up, or reach your right arm over your left ear. One more breath in, step back, high to low plank, or right back to down dog. Up dog. Down dog. Look forward, step walk or hop to your hands. Halfway lift and fold. Lift your right leg up. One breath in. Right foot meets your left. Inhale your left leg up. 
left foot meets your right. Chair pose. Hands to center, twist right, left elbow, right knee. Knees in line, keeps your hips in line. Option one is there, or if that's not available, left hand on the outside of your right knee, twist here. Open up floor to ceiling if that's available. Inhale, chair pose, fold forward. I'm just gonna turn to face you so you can see. Take your feet two to three fists apart, peace fingers to big toes. Halfway lift, bow forward. Sway from right to left. And then you'll heel to your feet back to touch. Sink into chair pose again. 80% of the weight is in your heels. Hands to center, right elbow, left knee twist. Here, or remember if that's not available, right hand on the outside of your left knee, reach your left arm up. Open up floor to ceiling with your arms if that's available. Inhale, chair pose, fold forward. I'll turn to you again, separate your feet, two to three fists, take your hands underneath your feet for gorilla pose, press your feet down, and sway from right to left. Turn your head from right to left, side to side. Walk off of your hands and take a squat here, sinking into your heels. Gaze is at one point. And then slowly stand all the way up and you'll step to the front of your mat, shake out your hands and your legs. Moving into Eagle Pose. So I'll turn to face you again. Eagle Pose, take goal post arms. Right arm comes out of their palm to palm, or right arm to the top of your right shoulder, or left shoulder, sink into your heels, take your right leg over. If that's not available, take your right ankle and cross it over your left. So here, or here. Come back, hands go by your side. Goal post arms. Left side, left arm under, palm to palm or shoulder to shoulder. Sink in chair legs, cross your left ankle over your right, or left leg comes over your right knee. Back to center, hands by your side. Eagle pose one more time on each side, and we'll move into airplane. So right arm under, right leg over, Elbows towards your knees, unravel your right leg straight back, hands go by your side, airplane pose. Bring your hands to center, left hand down to a block, mat, or water bottle, reach your right arm up. Keep your right leg lifted, standing split and step your right foot all the way back. Drop your right knee down, heel toe your left foot to the outside. Notice here I'm on the baby toe edge of my left foot. Come down to your hands or your forearms. One more breath in, high to low plank, where you can step right back to down dog. Look forward, step or hop to your hands. Halfway lift and fold. Extend a mountain pose, reach up. Hands go by your side. Eagle pose, left side. Left arm under, left leg over. Elbows to knees, unravel airplane pose. Notice how my hands are active, palms face down. Hands come to center, right hand down to your mat, block, or water bottle. Left hand up. Keep your left leg lifted, standing split. And step your left foot all the way back, drop your left knee down, heel to your right foot to the outside, untuck your left toes. Hands come down on the inside of your right foot.
One more breath in. Step back, high to low plank, or right to down dog. Look forward, step walk or hop to your hands. Halfway lift and fold. Standard mountain pose, reach up, hands go by your side. I'll turn to face you. Lift your right knee up to hip height, right hand on the outside of your right knee. Open right, extend left. Come back to center, straighten your right leg, pulse it up. Five, four, three, two, dance or pose right side. So grab the inside of your right ankle or the outside. Square up your hips. I'm just going to hop forward here. <laughs> and then left arm goes forward. One more breath in. Right foot meets your left. Left side. Lift your left knee up. Open left. Extend right. Bring it back to center, hands to hips, straighten your left leg, pulse it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Dancer, grab the inside of your left ankle or the outside. Push into your right foot. One more breath in. Left foot into your right. Tree pose, right side. Right foot comes somewhere above or below your inner left knee, so here, here, or all the way up. Bring your hands to center. Focus on one point. Keep your hands here or you can reach your arms up to the ceiling. If you fall out, come right back in. One more breath in. Right foot meets your left. Tree pose left side. Activate your right leg, press in. Whoops, even I fall out of the poses. <laughs> and you begin again. Hands to center. If you wish, interlace your fingers. Hands to center. Step down. Good job. Step to the front of your mat. Inhale, reach your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale as you fold forward. Halfway lift, step back, high plank. Lower, inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your right foot forward, come up to warrior two. Straighten your right leg, reverse it back. Take your right hand to your right shin or ankle. Left arm goes up, triangle pose. And take your gaze up towards the ceiling. Lift up to standing. You're going to turn your right toes to the left. I'm just going to turn to face you so you can see me. I'm in a wide-legged stance. Big toes are in, hands to the hips. Lift your chest up. Fold forward. Drop your hands down. Sway from right to left. Lift yourself up, turn your right foot forward. So this is my right foot. Step your left foot in a third of the way. You're still at the front of your mat. Interlace your hands at your low back or grab opposite forms. Lift your chest up. Bow over your right knee, pyramid pose. You can also drop your hands down to your mat. Halfway lift, left hand down, right arm goes up, twisted triangle. One more breath in, step back, high to low plank, or right to down dog. Left foot forward, warrior two. Straighten your left leg, reverse, triangle pose. Left hand, left shin or ankle, right arm. Lift up to standing, turn your left toes in, and now turn your toes out. Bring your hands to your knees. Dip your right shoulder down, dip your left shoulder down. Dip right, 
dip left. Bring your hands to center, lift your right heel up and down, left heel up and down, both heels up. If you can, reach up. One more breath in, heels drop, straighten your arms and your legs. Turn your big toes in, hands to the hips, lift your chest up, and then fold forward. Once again, sway from right to left, getting some water into your joints. Lift yourself up to standing. Turn your left toes forward, right foot steps in a third of the way. Press all four corners of your feet down. Interlace or opposite forearms, lift your chest up. Bow over your left knee. Right hand down, left arm reaches up to the ceiling, twisted triangle. One more breath in, high plank. Option static hold here. If you like push ups, you could do five push ups here. Lower all the way to the floor. Take your hands by your side. Lift up, locust pose. Come down, palms face up, rest on one side. Chin to the front of your mat, palms face down, lift up. Option one, stay here or bend your knees. Catch your ankles, knees come into center, kick up into bow pose. Try to lift your quadriceps off of your mat. One more breath in. And bend your knees, windshield wipe your legs from side to side. Hands come along sides of your chest, upward facing dog, into downward facing dog. Drop down to your knees, curl your toes underneath, sit up, bring your hands to fists at your low back. So in camel pose, here option one, Option two, one hand at a time, or option three, both hands on the insides of your ankles, chest goes up towards the ceiling. One more breath in, untuck your toes, sit onto your heels. Hands can go to your knees or fingertips can touch. One more time, camel pose. Remember, hands are resting somewhere, low back or on the insides of your ankles. Press your chest up towards the ceiling. Untuck your toes, sit down to your heels, take your forehead down to your mat, hands go back by your feet. Downward facing dog. Step through your hands, come out to your back into bridge pose. Skin your heels with your fingers. Press your elbows down, lift your hips up. Lift your heels off of your mat, take your arms behind you, hips come down. And from here, bridge or full wheel, taking your hands by your ears and pressing yourself up. We warmed up everything to get to this point. Three, two, and one. Come down, and then one more time. Go back up. Bridge or full wheel, you choose. I'm going to do both. Bridge, stay in bridge. If wheel's there, take it out and go for it. One more breath in. And then lower soles of your feet together, knees spread wide. Turn your head from right to left. And from here, bring your knees into your chest and rock from side to side. Stay here or take happy baby. Pressing the tops of your feet up. 
legs up to the ceiling, cup your ears, lower your right leg down to a hover, and switch. Keep switching at a pace that works for you. You can go fast or slow. Three, two, one. Ease into your chest, take your knees to the right, twist left. And switch sides. Back to center, landing pad underneath your hips. Legs go up to the ceiling. Head stays down, lower your legs all the way down to a hover. Now lift your head up, flex your toes towards your feet and click your heels. Feet come to touch, legs go up, head comes down. One more time, legs come all the way down to a hover. Look at your feet, click your heels. Knees come into your chest, take your knees to the right, twist left. Go to the other side. Come back to center, rock yourself up, take your hands underneath your hamstrings, lift your heels up, option one, stay here, option two, reach up. I promised you when I first did this pose, my heels only were about two inches off of the mat, or you can straighten your legs. One more breath in, and then either half pigeon right side, right knee forward, left leg goes back, or come onto your back and take a figure four. You made it to hip openers. From here, rest your forehead down if that's available. Deep breath in, and empty out. One of the things I love about a yoga class and a power flow is you move through the whole body and the way we feel when we start to the way we feel when we finish is usually completely different. Take one more breath in. If you took half pigeon, take your right leg up, and open up, shake it out. Figure four, switch sides. Half pigeon, move to the left side, left knee forward, tuck your right toes underneath, lift your chest up, untuck your toes. Come down onto your forearms. Notice where your mind goes and steer it back in the direction that you need to be focusing on right now. Here, swing your right leg over your left. So I'm going to turn to face you. This is my left leg right here. Right leg comes over, or if that's not available, sitting cross legged. Squaring your hips up. Double pigeon. <laughs> and then switch sides. Right leg comes under. Left leg comes up and over. Flex in. Right leg goes out long in front of you. Left leg comes in, right hand reaches to your right ankle, shin, or right foot. Take your left arm back. Left hand goes down by your left hip, push up onto your left knee, reach up and out. Come down, left leg long, right leg in. Bow forward, reach your right arm straight back. Right hand down, push up onto your right knee, reach your left arm up and out. Come down. Both legs go forward. 
Lift your hips up, scoot them back. Flex your feet towards you. Fold forward. Take your hands by your hips. Press your feet down. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Come down. Legs go long. Hands go underneath where your pockets are. Come up to your forearms. Point your toes forward. Head tilts back. Fish pose. Come down. You can put a block underneath your hips. Uh, you can come onto your back like so. Myself, I'll put my legs up the wall here. Final inversion. So a block or a pillow right underneath here to wedge your legs up, or you can stay on your back. Nothing to do. Here, removing the block if you had it, and everyone meeting with your knees into your chest, rocking from side to side. Stay here, or happy baby. Take your left leg long on your mat, squeeze your right knee in towards your chest, and with your left hand, guide your right knee over to the left. Look right. switch sides, right leg long, left knee in, use your right hand to guide your left knee over to the right, look left, come back to center, soles of your feet together, inhale, extend your legs and your arms as wide as you want, Shavasana, final pose, bones are heavy, Exhale fully out of your mouth. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll to your right side. Pause here. Tuck your right shoulder underneath. Eyes closed, roll up to seated position, sitting cross legged. Take your right hand on the outside of your left knee, twist, and the opposite way, twist. Bring your hands to your knees or hands to center, sitting up tall, part of the work you just did. Take a deep breath in and empty out. If you wish, you can bring your thumbs to your forehead, that's your gut, your intuition, trust in yourself. In every yoga class with the word namaste, it means I acknowledge you and you acknowledge me. Let me bow your head, take a deep breath in, and we say namaste. Thank you so much for joining, and I'll see you soon.